Hello friends, this is Wiki Walker, your gardening friend and today I am back again with another plant. We are talking about spider plant today. But before that, before I start today's video, let me thank all of you for your overwhelming response on my earlier videos. One which was based on Wandering Jew and the earlier video which was based on Fitonia. Uh, I had shown you how I propagated Fitonia in trays and uh, I just wanted to show you how I have repotted those small saplings in one pot and I have so many different colors of Fitonia in one pot. Uh, I am going to make an update video on this as well uh, which I will talk about in detail later. For now let's talk about this plant which is known as the spider plant. First of all why do we call this plant a spider plant? This plant actually when this plant blooms it has one flower growing from the center of the plant so there is a stick which will grow from the center and that particular stick will actually grow small spider plants on that stick. So when that particular flower or when the plant blooms that plant actually looks like a spider web and the baby plants actually look like small spiders who are clinging to the web and that's why the name spider plant. Uh, we will talk a little bit about uh, how do we take care of this plant, how do we propagate this plant and uh, most importantly how do we water this plant, what kind of soil we need for this plant and uh, what are the uses of this plant. So first of all this is an indoor plant. You can always keep this in your bedroom or uh, you know in your kitchen or in your bathroom. It does absolutely ve well wherever you keep it. For now I have kept it near my window. Uh, the reason being I want this plant to receive more sun because when this plant receives more sun its growth is accelerated. It grows at a faster pace and plus when it receives more sun the blooms actually come out fast. If you keep it indoor uh, the blooms are going to grow very slowly. So I want this plant to grow small spiders and that's why I'm keeping this in sun. Uh, even if I keep this indoor, even if I keep this in dark place this plant is going to be green equally. As you see uh, because the leaves of the plant are slightly variegated they are not exactly green you can see there is a white portion to it and also there is a green portion to it. So that means there is a uh, there is some amount of chlorophyll and that's why even when we say that the plant is indoor and it doesn't need so much sun but because it is a variegated plant it will always need some amount of sunlight. So if you have this plant and if you are keeping this indoor suppose if you keep this indoor for 15 days make sure that at least for 2 days you keep it in sun because the variegated structure of the leaves will stay intact only when it receives certain amount of sunlight. If you keep this in dark always the leaves will actually start turning brown and the plant will not look very beautiful. Uh, this is the main reason why I keep changing the place of my plant. Sometimes I keep this near television. It does wonderfully there but after 15-20 days I bring it back to the window so that it receives its share of sunlight uh, and so on. So this plant is here at the window for uh, at least 15 days now. Before that for one month it was near my television. So now I am just uh, you know hoping that after few days maybe one week or so it will uh, give me a bloom. Uh, once I get the bloom, once I get the small spiders, I am going to make an update video on that. Uh, let's talk about the soil. This particular plant actually uh, can grow in any kind of soil. But uh, it will. it is always advisable that uh, well drained soil uh, will be good so that the water doesn't stay uh, near the roots of the plant. Because sometimes when water gets accumulated in the pot, it can uh, damage the root ball of the uh, plant. However, it's not so dangerous because this plant also grows in water. So this is an amphibious plant. It grows in soil, it grows in water as well. Uh, but when you grow it in water, the results are going to be slightly different. The growth, the leaves, structure, uh, the size of the leaves. You know, the roots are always going to be bigger than the plant because you are growing it in water. So 
if you wish to experiment if your plant is growing small spiders you can always experiment you can uh, plant one uh, baby plant in soil and one uh, baby plant in water and see the difference for yourself and you'll be amazed that uh, you know both the plants will do equally well but you at the same time you will also see the difference if you want your plant to uh, get the blooms it is advisable that you plant your uh, spider plant in the soil here in bahrain we don't uh, get uh, the red soil which is the agricultural soil uh, commonly found in india okay in india we usually get uh, the sand which is clay based and uh, that is that is the most commonly used garden soil or uh, you know uh, the soil which is uh, used in most of the plants but here in bahrain uh, the soil that we get in the nurseries is actually not soil it is in the form of coco peat or uh, uh, peat moss which is uh, actually made from the waste of coconut okay but coco peat is also very good for plants because it doesn't hold water and it helps the you know uh, the plants to retain moisture at the same time so this particular plant is actually planted in coco peat i got these pots from uh, the bahrain mall i got four such pots and they have very bright color uh, they are not in stock right now but if you wish to buy such pots they are very inexpensive i think i got them uh, for 2 bd for four pots uh, very inexpensive and uh, very attractive you can see the color in light it looks really nice and bright uh, even white color uh, would look very nice for this plant and also in the same pot i have uh, actually planted small saplings of coleus which is again a winter plant uh, it's not growing grown uh, yet but once it is big enough i'm going to repot it into other pot i have three coleus in this one is red one is uh, this in multiple color green and red not red exactly this is uh, maroon maroonish and then i have pink white and green so these are three coleus plants that i'm trying to propagate i just got these cuttings from my friend's house and i'm just trying to grow it um, uh, those plants are also going to grow big and they are going to give me blooms um, which is a uh, which is the thing to watch for in future but for now uh, we spoke about the sun part we spoke about the uh, soil part and let's talk about the watering you can uh, actually uh, go very easy with watering on this plant because even if you uh, forget to water this plant once in a while that's fine it doesn't mind the plant will still stay intact uh, the plant will still stay strong in fact once i went for vacation for 15 days and i kept my spider plant at home uh, without watering when i came back it was still doing very well uh, even if it is in sun it will do very well so it's not a very stubborn plant that it needs a specific type of condition it kind of adjust to the conditions Uh, you can also use this plant in some of the terrariums if you want to check out some of the terrariums i have pictures of uh, a terrarium where i have used spider plant and it has grown mighty 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 big and that picture is available on my instagram page if you want to check out please uh, do visit my instagram page so uh, i will uh, try to share the link in the description for you so uh, yeah so you can use this plant in the terrariums you can use this in hanging baskets mostly these are used in hanging baskets uh, but they are also very good for the table tops if you keep this in the center of the table it just fills the table completely and your uh, table looks really you know ornamented so that's the beauty of the plant and if it has spiders that that is the cherry on the cake uh this plant is also very good for uh, people who suffer from insomnia so if you have sleeping problem and if you keep this plant in your bedroom uh it is uh, it is likely that it will help you to uh, get better sleep it's a very good plant for bedrooms because uh, the amount of oxygen it releases is really high and uh, i'm sure everybody wants that kind of environment in the bedroom so that uh, you know your uh, bedroom is pleasant enough so that's uh, about uh, the spider plant i am hoping uh, that this plant is going to grow very big and it's going to give me bloom i wish i could show you the bloom but right now i don't have a plant with a bloom uh, but i have one plant at home which is again uh, there on my instagram page the picture which i clicked uh, when i was in india so you can check that 
and uh, I will give you updates on my other plants as well. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching my video and uh, thank you very much for uh, giving all your likes and uh, your response for my earlier video which I made on chrysanthemums. A lot of people here have bought this plant in uh, Bahrain from Dana Mall and uh, let me give you a, uh, an update on the chrysanthemum which I video which I made just five days back and see the flowers have started blooming now see here and there's one more uh, of which I was not very sure which color flower it is so now I'm sure it's yellow I was not sure whether it's going to be yellow or white but now I'm very sure it's going to be yellow color blooms I'm trying to get more colors from the market uh, but unfortunately more colors are not available but once I get more colors, I'm going to get more plants and uh, uh, I will come back with more exciting plants uh, which you can have in your house in Bahrain. So thank you very much guys. Stay safe. Keep gardening. Keep smiling. Thank you. Bye bye.